welcome everybody uh, now I'm gonna show you how to use precision tree for sensitivity analysis let me first open the Excel We can do sensitive analysis using both software, either top rank or precision tree. But in case of precision tree, you need to draw the decision tree diagram first, and then we can do the sensitive analysis. So if it is not required to draw a decision tree, then you need not to use precision tree software. Or if you feel comfortable to draw a precision decision tree, then you can always use the precision tree software for sensitivity analysis so it's a both way you can do um, either way either use top rank or precision tree software i think the excel is already open but ah here you go okay and as usual the precision tree tab is not here or um, it's in my short list I'm just sh gonna show you a uh, arbitrary example. Let me draw a position tree, and then we will do the sensitivity analysis. So I'm drawing a hypothetical case study, so that you get the idea how to do. So we we'll click on the just randomly click on any cell, and then we click on the decision tree, and OK. It's taking time okay here you go I am okay with the t tree name and then I'm click again and then add to decision and then just to show you I'm adding two chance here you go and then let me put some value so that we get um, let's put here 1000 and then your value is zero and we can put here um, 500 and we can play with this probability let me let me make it 60% and you see that it's pop up that something wrong because the 60% 50% is not the same so let me write a formula here so that mm, equals 1 minus this one I think now now it works. So whatever the actually here our plan is to do sensitive analysis for to see how the branch one value if branch one value changes or branch one probability changes or if branch two's value changes. Um, let me change this name. I'll make it chance one. Okay. Chance one. And this one is chance two, okay. So branch one, branch two, and chance one, chance two is inside the branch one, inside the branch one. So I can do the sensitivity analysis. How uh, you can see here is a, we can click here, uh, just click sensitivity analysis and analysis type one way sensitivity. That's our focus of today's lecture. And we want the expected value. The model is new tree. There is only one model. That's what we want. And starting node. Actually, we want to do sensitive analysis for the overall model. If it is a big model, and if in any case we are interested on a specific node, then we can click on the no, 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 or not the entire model. Maybe at the time we may interested in decision D18 or E14, which is that E14 is here, and another is here. So, either way, but we are now interested for the entire model. And then we need to tell the software what is the input. That means what are the variable, which cell value we want to change, and we can we want to see the. So, which is the which are the output the input? Uh, we need to tell the software. So, as I mentioned before, we are interested on this value, this value, and this value. 
so let me add and now it tell me it is telling me to select the cell uh, let me select this cell I'm clicking OK and let me write this name as mm, which is the branch one so branch one chance one branch one chance one value I'm clicking uh, before I clicking okay let me see how we want to vary the input either plus minus 25 percent or min max as it is his value I, I am I prefer to go for min max in that case we need to write the min max value mm, let's see we can go by 800 to 1200 and click OK we can add another one we can add the probability cell here okay here click click now click so you can see E11 that's the probability so we're going to change the probability and as I uh, write the formula here so when we change the probability here uh, the, the the probability over in chance 2 node should change automatically so click OK and we can label it as prob probability 1 and you may think of doing this 25 plus minus 25 percent that should be fine okay and we can add another one let me select this one and click OK and go with the minimax and minimum value 500 so um, let from 400 to let me see from 400 to let's put 1000 I wanna see what happened so now we have three input and the result includes sensitivity graph, strategy, spiral graph, tornado graph and we need all of them and report output as percentages from current value okay. we are interested in this four click OK and you see it's running the simulation is running and we should get the result soon here you go so we get several results uh, let me okay so we have the tornado diagram we can see which is the most influential is the branch value branch 2 of node decision hmm. and this one is the the probability is the second most influential and the branch 1 channel 1 is the least the lowest influential so from this tornado diagram we can know that which is more influential and from the spider diagram it also matches with our and you can see the probability and the branch 1 in chance 1 that value actually their slope merges with each other and there is a threshold point that means before that point the blue line which is the branch 2 was preferable and but after that we always prefer the branch 1 and we can match these results with our other you can see now we always the decision tree is referring uh, suggesting that the branch 1 is true we should go for branch 1 let me change this value if this value changes to 1000 what happens now it becomes true and this becomes false that means we should go for branch 2 let me okay, cancel it, make it 900 this is the same so when it is 900 we go for branch 2 is it the same conclusion from our sensitive analysis that was branch 2 right branch 2 branch 2 is the blue line so branch 2 is the blue line and when it increases 
you can see the expected value for branch 2 is higher and it will be more evident if you go for other mm, here you go with the variation of branch value branch 2 so when we change the branch value you can see before this point which is 600 something so before 600 the branch 1 was more beneficiary but after 600 branch 2 is more beneficiary we can cross check this result ok let's put it um, write something 500 is branch 1 but if you write 650 it's branch 2 so our result actually matches with this conclusion this strategy d20 whatever strategy e11 what did it say that it's a variation of probability the variation of probability that means we are varying this probability 60 percent now currently it is false true uh, for the for this value that we should go for branch 2 let me put this in the base value it was 500 we know as, be as before and this was 1000 ok now the sensitivity analysis is telling us that if we change the probability from 45% to say 100% around 50% uh, at the when the probability is 50% then it become the break even point otherwise if it is a 40% or 45% the branch was 1 is not preferable the preferable is branch 2 let me cross check this um, 45 let's check with the 45 percent what happened if you type here 45 percent hmm, the branch 2 is preferable but if it is 60 percent branch 1 is preferable if it is 50 percent it should same that's what happened you see 500 500 so both value is the same so that's why on 50 percent it's zero and from the spider diagram we already discussed the spider diagram and this is a tornado diagram and you can check the other sensitivity diagram and I hope that you understand the intuition of this graph of this tornado and spider diagram and now you can use the precision tree to for the for drawing decision tree inference diagram and you can do the sensor analysis also that's all for today thank you very much for watching